thing, we're going to be able to hit those numbers again until maybe EVO. Yeah, maybe EVO. I think, I think that is actually insane, especially... Um, but you know what? Insane, but not surprising. Not surprising. Especially for, because for how big Ultimate has been so far. Yeah. We've been seeing so much talent across the entire world between Valhalla, Let's Make Moves, Smash Conference, um, all the nice locals that we've been able to see um, right. from all the different regions. We, we literally have just had so much research um, and information to work with. No puns intended. To work with, literally. <laughs> literally, I didn't. <laughs> to throw that in there at least nice, once when I'm commentating nice, with you. Nice, nice. But, um, <laughs> and it's, that's why, like, this tournament is so important because it's basically the cherry on top to base your research off of between um, character, character knowledge, um, recognizing where characters are on the tier list. This is that tournament to be able to base a tier list finally off of just based on the results alone, how uh, players are doing overall, and what we are going to expect um, going through the season here now that it's starting up, um, starting with this tournament. I'm just waiting for you to say research one more no, time. No, I'm not doing that. I literally <laughs> unintentionally did it. You said and, research like and, four times. No, I did not. <laughs> There's a research counter going on right now. Twitch chat is popping up. <laughs> How many times will Vicky say research? <laughs> <laughs> Man, between like, well, I don't even know what's happening. I found out the other day that like European players are penguins. I'm like, where did this come from? No, yeah, yeah. I, there's, like, there's already so many. There's so many jokes already. <laughs> what is happening? It's been like a. Th it's a three. It's like a two. One month game. One I, and a half month game. It literally was so bamboozled too because I was just like. Oh, Empoleon is in Smash. Like, I, everyone's talking about penguins. I literally right. had no context. I'm like, yo, I love Empoleon. Let's go. And then yeah, I'm like reading King reading DDD. deeper. Yeah, DDD wasn't even like <laughs> what I thought about for some reason. I was like, yo, a new, a new character. I'm Empoleon. like reading through my timeline. I'm like, ah, oh, dang. No Empoleon, man. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. But it's okay, man. <laughs> the joke was funny enough. Yeah. A lot of penguins here. Yeah, there are. I had one on stream, actually. <laughs> I commentated <laughs> with Viram. Um, no, but we actually literally had somebody bring us a penguin. Uh -huh. I was like, uh -huh. you would bring me a, 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 like a, a penguin, a toy penguin, while I'm commentating with Viram right now. I thought it was <laughs> super funny, cute. but... That's yeah. adorable. Yeah. That's adorable. I you imagine this guy plays Luigi. You know, you know what? That's the mind games talking. I've seen people wearing Mario shirts, and, and they, they play, play freaking... Ganondorf. <laughs> I'm just like nothing, nothing what? at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't base. I don't base it off of that. Just because that's you're you're literally tricking your opponent before the game even starts. Oh, he's playing Luigi. I better go with blank character. It's about sending a message. That's that's the message is that he, pl message. he plays Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified. This is pre patch Luigi as well. Yes, you're right. Actually, which even though, um, I believe it was down here. Uh, was, yeah, I think it was down air that yeah. was changed the trajectory of right. down air. Even though that was uh, different now, you can still you can do, still do it. You, no, not down air. I think you use up air now to get. <laughs> like it's just you just use a different move and you can still get the zero to death out of Luigi's grab. Dude, um, yeah. I believe Charlie, the the really good fox player from Smash Four, he also displayed how easy it is to the Luigi zero to death oh, with yeah. a Joy-Con with one hand. He posted it that's, on Twitter. That's, that's wild. <laughs> one, one handed zero to death. Yeah, I that, he had it like that. He was like, y'all, I don't know why you guys are complaining. Here it is. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, respect, man. I mean, I believe him. I love, never doubted it. I love that even after all the counter pick and all the, the stage striking that happens, so many times you end up at Battlefield. Nothing changes. Oh, man. Battlefield is still so neutral. It's the best. <laughs> I always just ask you guys want to go Battlefield first. Really? Every, you know, I, I actually That's, love Battlefield, so but people, there's a lot of characters that just don't wouldn't want to fight other characters oh, on sure. platforms, no, no, especially with the, uh, the pressure. No, it's definitely different. But I feel like PS2 is definitely that new, like, oh, look, we're starting about it. There you go, yeah. Like, we got Luigi. Yeah, we do. We got Luigi. We got Miss Pam versus Mexican SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> he He's not here to soil it, man. He's not here to soil it. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican SpongeBob, I like it. That's the other thing I love about... Uh, Watching pools like this, the, the tags are always the greatest in round one pools. Yeah, I, I agree on see, that. When, yeah. you get, when are you gonna see Mexican SpongeBob? This is actually fantastic. We got Miss Pam rocking the Bumblebee Peach skin. She's just trying to find her way uh, back onto the stage, but oh, oh my gosh, my the God. misfire from Mexican SpongeBob catching Miss Pam by the ledge. Feeling pretty confident too, throwing out that time. Yeah, why, why would you go for side me? My favorite part is that you saw him. He did a head nod, like, yeah, 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 I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> he, he, he gave the most confident head nod, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I knew that side B was gonna misfire he, he like probably that. saw that Miss Pam was landing with an aggressive option, which is why he he knew that that um, side B was definitely gonna land there. I know he was gonna land, but he got <laughs> he got the KO potential off of it. That's oh, he tried to go for the, He's dude, going the, for the disrespect. Taunt, the taunts. That has yes, dude. That guy, he was okay. Mexican SpongeBob feeling himself right now. This man looking to get out of pools. Here, second day at Genesis. Not even, not even making out of pools. Making yeah, out of pools with a statement. <laughs> he Look, tried to do whoa, it again. Oh my god! And the disrespect. And the hitbox of that is actually really small. Oh. And Miss Pam letting go of shield, unfortunately. Maybe trying to go for that parry. They got that option select where you know you let go of shield into possibly throwing out a short hop aerial just in case. If you don't parry, you at least throw out a hitbox in the process. Right. Right. Oh my god! The back throw with the KO. Mexican SpongeBob's doing so well. It looked very even in that first stock. Yeah, it did. He manages to get the grab again. You see, he's trying to he tried to start it up with the down air. Yeah. And he got that forward smash too off the down air. Yeah. Very solid. Just trying to get in for that extra percent. Nice. Great parry there, and that's what I think Miss Pam was going for for in, in that second stock when she got punished. Right. Right. Getting Is that down smash. By the way, that's catching the roll. Very solid. Very very solid. Oh, that will not KO from center stage like that. She's been doing a... Oh, great counter with the Toad. I like it. She's been pretty solid with her edge guards, um, using turnips to stop the side B momentum and then countering there at the, the right side. Very solid. Yeah, turnips in this game Maybe getting right, a, a well little bit of a buff compared to now. her Smash 4 iteration. Miss Pam so doing a pretty good you job you also at getting uh, these the parries back. overall, so too. To right. Punishing the landing with the here. forward smash. She has winky face, but unfortunately... Whips it as it goes above Mexican SpongeBob's head. Right. She will live probably one or two more hits, but very, very close to KO percent. Yeah, she's gonna want to watch out. Yeah, and get that's, that. that's yep. the that's the down smash. That was a really greatly spaced down smash too, mm -hmm. coming from Mexican SpongeBob. Only because like you see how far he was when right. um, Miss Pam actually got hit by it. But still, Miss Pam is doing a really good job at um kind of recognizing what Mexican Spongebob was going for, especially with that, that misfire by the ledge when she was able to counter it <laughs> yeah. with Toad. Yeah, that's very solid. Her edge guarding was very good, but overall it just felt like the combo game from Luigi coming from Mexican Spongebob. Every time he would get a neutral hit, it would be like 40-50%, and I think yeah. that's just added. That just adds up over time and ended up giving him like a huge lead towards the end. Yeah, but I not bad play. Not bad play overall from from the peach. And feeling himself too, you know, having fun with those taunts, even trying to get Dude, the taunt the taunt hitbox <laughs> the taunt and the legs. Oh my god, the taunt spikes. I was like, I, I kind of see it. I kind of yeah, see same, it. Same, same. We're talking about the disrespect, but that's actually pretty high. <laughs> Bring it up. Yeah, man, 10 a.m. pools. I, I, I'm trying to see some taunt spikes. I'm down with that. All right, they're going into game two. He's dialed in. He's so dialed in. He's ready to go. Yeah, she, he's, he's in this. It's a smart <laughs> man wearing a uh, face mask too at a tournament like this, where there's so many other people that want to, yeah. you know, keep it healthy. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. in that prime season for uh, people to get sicky. Everyone gets sick. It's called the genus sickness. Dude, nah, I'm not trying to. Nah, I just recovered, man. <laughs> I've been bringing Termix everywhere with me. Yeah. And I have an emergency packet on. Oh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna help. No, nah, dude. No one is immune to the genus sickness. No, I'm definitely no. Nah, I'm avoiding the plague. No. Nah. All right, here we go. Game two. Mexican SpongeBob up a game against Miss Pam. Okay. Mexican SpongeBob showing that confidence too from that first game. See, starting out here on Pokemon Stadium. Mm -hmm. Mexican SpongeBob throwing out a good amount of these smash attacks though at the beginning of the game, and Miss Pam actually uh, proceeding to get a good amount of damage because of it. Right, staying outside the grab range of Luigi too. She has, um, she's playing this a little bit better so far, even right right away. It feels like she has a really solid understanding of the distance she wants to keep against Luigi and then keep uh, oh, Luigi she out air with dodge. the dodge. That's turnips. quite unfortunate. I, that sucks. She was just on the ledge trying to just let go and air dodge on accident. Yeah, she, I don't, I don't, oh. I, she probably was trying to jump air dodge into the stage instead, but unfortunately just that SD there definitely could mess you up mentality wise, but hopefully she doesn't let it get to her. She was doing so well yeah, too. Yeah, she definitely was doing a lot better compared to what we saw in the first game. That's very unfortunate. 
Again, I, I still like the game plan that she's employing, though. Just, like, staying back and then using more turnips. Yeah, you see how she's being really safe. Um, trying to be more so roll distance from the ledge. And unfortunate uh, mistiming right there by the counter. You saw she was trying to counter the side B as uh, Mexican SpongeBob was using it to recover back into the stage end. Yeah, if you, if you mess up the timing of the counter, you're just kind of stuck with so much ending lag. So yeah. you, you're, you're going to get punished very hard. Okay, yeah. Again, staying outside the grab range. Very solid stuff. But... Mexican Spongebob with the forward smash. Trying to catch the roll in with the down smash. This, this Pam does not, does not bite on that. It looked like what the confidence that she had in stock one was taken away after that, after that huge SD. Yeah, I definitely agree. And uh, hopefully she doesn't let it get to her because now she has a Mexican Spongebob at an even stock count um, right. with herself. But being at 140, it, oh she had, oh my gosh, she managed oh, to make it back. Yeah, she was turned around. Dude. Yeah, if she had let go of uh, the parasol, uh, she actually could have been able to uh, get back onto the ledge, but the parasol could be a little bit difficult to uh, maneuver right. around with. Um, at least she was above the ledge, which is fine, <laughs> but that side B is definitely going to connect. Dude, wh how, how does he know? <laughs> he, he just knows when she's going to land. He's, he's able to get it consistently. He does get that down air, but doesn't get the neutral air following afterwards. So much percent from Luigi combos. It's already 60%. In a matter of seconds, where? And he tried to go. Yep, he tried to go for that ta the taunt spike. Taunt spike, but it looked like he was trying to read the roll with the taunt yeah, spike. Yeah, I think he had misspaced it. I think he tried to go actually closer to the ledge there. This guy, this guy's wild. He's jumping, getting out of that situation, but he doesn't have another jump, and he's forced to land on the stage here. But Miss Pam not really capitalizing off of it. You know, Peach having those uppers that make it such a great tool to juggle your opponent with and deal a good amount of damage, and she gets oh. the parry. Not a significant punish though. Right. Oh man, and the up smash. Mexican Pat, uh, Mexican Pat, Mexican SpongeBob will <laughs> you take it. You say Mexican Patrick. 